In this video, I'll show you how to calculate regular payments or deposits using the annuity formula. This is question number two. Brianne wants to save $6,000 for a trip in five years. What regular deposits should she make at the end of every six months in an account that earns 3% per year compounded semi-annually? To solve this question, we'll need to know this formula and the letters of this formula are defined below. So we are told that she wants to save $6,000. So A is equal to $6,000. We're also told that she will earn 3% per year interest. So I is equal to 3% per year. And of course, the interest is compounded semi-annually, which means it will be compounded every six months. So what we have to do with this 3% is divide it by two. And the reason why we're dividing by two, because six months occurs twice in a year. Dividing these two numbers gives us 1.5%. And of course, when it comes to these types of questions, we do not use percentage. Instead, we use the decimal version of that percent. So to convert this from a percentage to decimal, we'll divide it by 100. This gives us 0 0.015. Now we were also told that her trip will be within five years. So she's going to be saving for five years. To find your end value, what we will do is take five years and multiply it by two, which represents the total number of deposits that she'll make, and that is equal to 10. So now that we have all the information that we need, we have to solve for R. R represents the regular deposits or payments. Now you can use this formula or you can use this formula which already has R solved. It's up to you which one you want to memorize, but it's always best to memorize this and then solve for R manually. So that's what I'll do in this video. So let's replace everything that we know. 6,000 is equal to our R value that we're looking for. 1 plus 0 0.015 to the power of 10 minus 1, close bracket, all over 0 0.015. Now to solve for r, we need to start off by getting rid of the denominator. That said, we start by multiplying this side by 0 0.015 and this side by 0 0.015. On the right side, this cancels out. And on the left side, we have the following. Of course, you can evaluate it right now but I'll wait until I solve for R. So what I have left is the following statement. I have the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation. Now I'll divide both sides by this. Notice what I did here is that I divided the right side and the left side by this expression. This cancels it out on the right side. And on the left side, we have the following statement. We're going to use our calculator now. And by evaluating the left side, we will get our R value our regular deposit. So 0 0.015 times 6,000, which represents the numerator, divided by the square bracket, which is represented by this bracket, this bracket, which is represented by that one, 1 plus 0 0.015 to the power of 10 minus 1. And this gives us $560.60. So what does this tell us? This tells us that in order for Brienne to save $6,000 for a trip in five years, she has to deposit regularly every six months $560 and of course 60 cents. So there you have it. That is how to calculate regular payments or deposits using the annuity formula. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.